is October 18th. So I've been participating in Vlogtober. <clears throat> I wanted to challenge myself and post a video every single day of October. So far, I've been able to pick up my camera every single day and record something and post it. No one wants me to record a video. Nobody. Not the Air Force, not my kids. <laughs> So far, I've been able to post every single day. What would have been posted today would have been yesterday's vlog, but I did not pick up my camera at all yesterday. And the main reason for that is because I was not feeling well. I have developed a cough. I don't have a fever. I still have the cough and it's still like lingering, but it's not as bad today. But I feel well enough to record something and kind of just like update you guys on what's been going on and like, how Vlogtober has been going for me so far. Pretty much yesterday, I just stayed home the whole entire day, napped for like three hours in the afternoon, which was great for me. I didn't do anything that was of any interest that, that would have warranted me pulling out my camera and documenting it, so, um, so I didn't. I, I pretty much just rested, napped, watched TV, um, and tended to the baby. Matt took Ellie to the rock climbing gym in the morning, which was really nice because it gave me a couple of hours alone with the baby to just like relax and not have to like tend to like two children at once. Um, so that was a nice like little tiny break. I started reading This Spells Love last night and I'm already on page 76, I think. Uh, so far it's, it's pretty good. Oh, I don't think I even said. I finished Emily Wilde's Map of the Otherlands the day before yesterday. I finished it that night. Um, I listened to it on audiobook slash was like following along with the physical book. <sighs> okay, hold on a second because I gotta get the baby. Okay, sorry about that. This is the reality of trying to film a video while you have kids. It's like constantly being interrupted and having to stop what you're doing and do something else. <laughs> fine. I was able to get him to go back to sleep, so hopefully we'll be good for the next at least 20 minutes. Where was I? Pretty much the point that I was getting at was that I didn't pick up my camera yesterday to record because really it wasn't anything interesting going on that warranted me documenting it and sharing it with you guys. Also, I just wasn't feeling like my best and I think that's like one of the challenges that comes with vlogging daily is that like if you don't feel great does that mean you're just recording you not feeling great there are a couple of youtubers that i follow who don't show their faces in their videos it's literally just like cozy like home body vlogs or like reading slash annotating vlogs and you don't see their face like at all hardly ever and sometimes like they don't even like talk they don't even have like voiceovers it's just lo-fi music in the background um, so it's it's all like vibes and atmosphere, which is really great and I love it. I feel like that's one of the benefits to being one of those kinds of YouTubers where like you're like a no face YouTuber because if you're not feeling great, like you don't have to show up um, and like record yourself. You can still record what you're doing, but like not have to like, you know, get ready for, get like camera ready or anything like that. You, you see all these videos on YouTube of people uh, giving you tips on how to like be successful on YouTube, right? And one of the first things that they always say is consistency. Just like having a set schedule and whether that means like posting once a week or twice a week or whatever it is, like you just need to be consistent. And I'm at that point where like I'm so new on YouTube or like at least I'm new to posting consistently on YouTube where it's like I'm not even really planning out the content every single day. I'm just kind of like showing up here um, and not necessarily showing up for my audience because it's literally just like my mom, my sister, and like two of my friends, but mostly like just showing up for myself because I made that commitment to myself that I was gonna post every single day in October that I was gonna finish Vlogtober. There will be 31 days of videos. Um, and I've already kind of like cheated a little bit because I think it was last weekend, days 13 and 14, I had to combine the two because I wasn't able to like edit that day. Um, so I've already kind of like had like a little bit of a misstep. Yesterday I didn't vlog, so now I'm trying to like make up for it by like posting this video of like an update slash, you know, 
how I'm currently feeling about October. <laughs> but the whole point is that I'm trying to be consistent. I'm trying to challenge myself and hold myself accountable, basically. I've been on YouTube for a while. Uh, my very first video that kind of caught a lot of attention was back in 2020 when I posted my birth story with my first daughter. I had um, a different kind of birth experience and it was one that I hadn't encountered with anybody else. Like no one, no one else that I knew of had a similar experience and so I thought it was worth sharing. And so far that's like my most watched video and has like the most comments and makes sense because there's, you know, there's something to connect with to other people on that video. And since then I've posted like here and there random, randomly. So Vlogtober is really my way of forcing myself to show up on this platform, to take up space on this platform. Um, I, I watch a lot of YouTube. I watch YouTube every day. At one point when I was avidly watching YouTube, and really following specific creators, I just felt like at a certain point it started feeling really repetitive. Watching certain people wasn't inspiring anymore and it was actually making me feel bad about myself. So I had to take a break after a while. I had to find a different side of YouTube that made me feel a little bit more connected to people. And that's when I got into booktube. Um, I was watching a lot of um, A Clockwork Reader, I think that's what her channel name is. Um, because I was getting back into reading again and I wanted some book recommendations and she had a lot of like really great videos at the time. One of the main creators that I still follow that I really enjoy watching is Shaughnessy Schroeder. I think she's such a wonderful like present online presence. Whenever I watch her videos, I actually feel connected to her and I it feels like I'm talking to like a friend. And I guess like one of my criteria when I'm looking for YouTubers is I'm trying to find someone that I feel like I can be friends with them, like someone that is relatable. And I'm trying to find all the girlies in their 30s. You know, I, I'm trying to find people that are in a similar stage in life as me. Because honestly, when I think of myself and what stage of life I'm in, I feel like the only people that I can really relate to are like my sister and my best friend and like that, that the, they're the only ones who are in the same boat as me. And so my hope is that by coming on here to YouTube and sharing my life as like a mid thirties stay at home mom, used to be a corporate fashion girly, now has like a billion hobbies, sewing, crocheting, reading, mainly reading, um, that like I can connect to other people who are kind of also in that same boat of like, we're all just trying to figure out our 30s, life in our 30s. I know that this is a really random video to post. Like I said, it's mainly just for myself to get into the habit of posting every single day and not necessarily worrying about what the content is about, you know? I'm halfway through Vlogtober and I think one of the things that I wanna take away from this experience is what do I enjoy filming? What do I enjoy watching? And then kind of like merging those two. If you happen to come across this video or any of my other Vlogtober videos, thank you so much for sticking around and hanging out with me. I know that this is probably not like the most organized. I, I'm not a professional YouTuber. <laughs> I'm still learning. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to say other than, you know, thanks for being here. Thanks for sticking around with me. Um, I just like feel like um, if I don't post today, I know that I'm gonna regret it and I'm gonna feel, and I don't want it to be the catalyst of me continuing to not post. I am forcing myself to record this video and I'm forcing myself to edit it after this and post it after this so that I can like get through this habit basically. Um, I hope this was, <laughs> I hope this was uh, not too terrible of a watch. I hope this wasn't too much of a waste of your time, basically. If you made it to the end of this video, leave a little ghost emoji <laughs> so, that I, so that I can see how many people actually were paying attention. But yeah. All right, well, I still have about an hour or so left of quiet time slash nap time, so I'm going to try and relax myself. But Hopefully you'll see me tomorrow. I am gonna try and vlog whatever it is that we end up doing today. So, like I said, again, thanks for being here, you guys. 
I really appreciate everyone commenting and watching. I'm hoping that I'll be able to create the kind of community that I myself am searching for. I think the internet can be pretty savage at times, but there are plenty of instances where I feel like the internet has gotten it right and connected a lot of people who were needing that, you know, one-on-one -on -one connection. And I hope that this can be it for us. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.